I call the honourable member Stuart Nash. I'm only going to take a short call on this. Uh, we obviously are not supporting this whatsoever. I wasn't too sure what the Maori Party were doing, whether they were supporting it or not. A lot of, lot of verbosity there, but um, I'd, not, not much understanding. Mr. Speaker, I actually, Mr. Chair, I actually think this, uh, this will be decided in the courts. This will be decided in the courts. And the reason I say this is there's a lot of ambiguity here around the meaning. And in, in particular, I'd like to talk about Clause 5, the meaning of freedom camp. Now, if we go to 1A, it says, in this Act, freedom camping does not include the following activities. And it talks about temporary and short-term parking. Now, Mr Chair, when I'm parking in the city, I know what temporary and short-term parking means. But when you're in the great wilderness that is New Zealand, what does that mean? If we say that temporary does not mean permanent, does that mean you can park a car for sort of three days and that's temporary? Because it's certainly not permanent. There's not a permanent structure there. It's not in my garage. It's not in anything I own. Uh, so by any account, that is in fact temporary parking. It's one day two days, three days, a week even. That's, that's certainly temporary parking when you're on a holiday or when you're doing a trek up and down the country. The other thing is it says, and short-term parking. Again, when you're in the city, we all have a, we, we think, well, I think I know what short-term uh, short means when I'm in the city, but in terms of a summer holiday, if you take a four-week summer holiday, does short-term, if you're going from spot to spot to spot, does short-term mean three days? four days? Does it mean one day? I think, Mr Speaker, that a smart lawyer representing a client who wanted to, uh, to make a point or a principle could drive a bus or a camper van straight through, or a house truck, straight through the middle of this, because they could, I would suspect, quite easily argue that no, they were not freedom camping under the meaning of the Act because they were temporary parking, i.e. they were not permanent or they were short-term parking, i.e. they were on a holiday for six months and during that six-month term a four-day stopover was considered as short-term in the scheme of things. The other thing, if we go up a bit, is the, freedom, uh, the meaning of freedom camping. It includes a tent or other temporary structure, a caravan, a car, camper van, house truck or other motor vehicle. Well, it's pretty obvious that this wants to be rushed through for the World, Camp, because, uh, World Cup because this is what you'll do in the middle of winter. You're going to stay on these things. But if I know many young people, and I take myself as an example, when I was a young man, foot loose, fancy free during the holidays, you'd jump in a car, you'd grab a sleeping bag and you'd go and sleep on a beach a long time ago, sometime last century. You'd go and grab a sleeping bag and you'd sleep under the stars or you'd sleep under a... Uh, a tree or you'd sleep on the beach. But, but according to this, that is not freedom camping. But that is where a lot of the problem lies. As my honourable colleague Kelvin Davis said, we need to address the issue of people defecating in the wilderness. But if you're sleeping in a sleeping bag under the stars on a beach, on a beach for a three day period, or not, for a three day period, According to this bill, you're not freedom camping. You're not freedom camping. So, uh, again, what is the definition of temporary structure? I mean, again, the Crown may argue that a sleeping bag is a temporary structure. I doubt it. I doubt it. So I, I would say, well, the, are they temporary? Well, they are in Christchurch at the moment because there's no, there's no sky. You can't see the stars. But what I would, what I would argue, Mr Speaker, and it will be interesting to see who start challenging this? And it is a, someone will. Someone will. I know that. And so it'll go through the court. What will happen? The sun will be picked up. They've stayed on a beach for three days with a group of mates. They've slept in a sleeping bag. They haven't taken any care about what they do, where they do. And they'll be picked up and say, $200 and some fine. And this will be the son or the daughter of a very wealthy person. They will say, no. No, I'll tell you what I'm I'm a third year law student. I'm going to test this case in court. Because this is classic legal systems 101. What defines freedom camping? And the issue will be, the issue will be, what is the definition of temporary and short-term parking? Is temporary and short-term parking one hour, half a day, a full day, three days or a week? And does a temporary structure mean a sleeping bag or does it have to be per <laughs> well, temporary structure, it's almost a bit of an oxymoron I suppose, but I suppose it means a tent, but it says a tent or other temporary structure, but a sleeping bag 
on a beach, in a car, for three days, according to the bill, Mr. Mr. Chair, is not freedom camping. <laughs>